Hello and welcome to Puzzles Please. I'm Maddie. I haven't done any filming for a little while, but today I'm back and I am back with lots of puzzles. We have got lots to look through today, so I'm going to delve straight in. Just keep taking one off the top of each pile and show you. So, puzzle number one. This is Marshall by Angela Harding. It is manufactured by Flame Tree Puzzling publishing I should say, apologies. Now I haven't used this brand before so I'm quite excited to try this. It is 1000 pieces. On the back we can see the full puzzle image. It comes with a poster, in fact a full image poster inside which is always nice to have if you want to look at details and help. As this puzzle, it looks like it could be quite challenging but I am excited to try this, always excited to try a new brand. I do like owls, which I think is what drew me to this puzzle. But I, as I say, I think it's gonna be pretty challenging. There's only a few colors on the color palettes in the puzzle, and the detail is all these wiggly lines and dots. So yeah, it's gonna be a challenging one, but I am looking forward to trying it out. Okay, next we will go over here. Good old Ravensburger. Whoops. That's a bit better. We'll start that again. Good old Ravensburger. So this one is 1000 pieces again and they say it's a challenge puzzle and it is of course Looney Tunes. Now they call it a challenge puzzle but I don't think it's going to be too bad this one. There's lots of distinct colours and features in here and nice clear sharp lines so I don't think it's going to be too challenging at all but I think it's going to be quite a lot of fun. Good old Looney Tunes. Okay next is Night at the Movies. Now this one it looks a lot of fun. It kind of has a twist to it so as you're puzzling, it says, guess some movies while you build the puzzle. There's 101 movie riddles. The puzzle is a thousand pieces and you have a checklist to write down your answers. So as you're puzzling, we have 101 riddles to solve and each riddle, you have to guess the hidden movie behind. I do enjoy a puzzle with a bit of a twist, something a little bit different. I haven't used this brand before. They are called Big Potato Games. I also think the artwork is kind of cute. The pastel colours and the sort of cartoon design. Just looking at the picture now, I think I might have already guessed one or two of the riddles. I think this one might be a puzzle which might make quite a fun video we can kind of, as we're puzzling it along, you at home can also try and guess the riddles. I might have to do a little brushing up on my movie knowledge skills first though. I do love going to the movies and yeah, I do love watching films so this one is definitely right up my street. Okay, next. We have got Cloudberries, the gradient puzzle, the classic gradient puzzle. It is 1000 pieces and I have already done a, a video review on Cloudberries so I know they're really good but I haven't done this particular puzzle before and yeah I do enjoy a good gradient puzzle sometimes. I remember I used to look at gradient puzzles and think they look so challenging and they're really not, they're quite easy. You just need good light so you can see the colour tone change and then they're really not too challenging but there's something very satisfying with gradient puzzles. I'm just going to move these puzzle piles about a little bit because I realise there's quite a bit of shadow going on from them. Next up let's have a look at this one. It is by Falcon, 1000 pieces and it's called Welcome to Wales. The puzzle image shows us six popular Welsh destinations. We have Conway Castle, Tenby, Snowdon, Anglesey, 
Port Marion and hang on I'll have to look at the back to um, find out which one that is it is of course Cardiff down here this one is 1000 pieces Falcon is a brand I've used plenty of times and found them to be good quality although I've never done a review on them so yeah that might be another review idea in the future I've actually visited all the places on the puzzle image and do love them all particularly Conway Castle because I really love historical places so much so I actually have another YouTube channel which is all about exploring historical places and looking into their history so if that interests you I will put the link to my other channel in the puzzle comments and description up next Ravensburger again this one is part of their abandoned range. Abandoned places is quite a strange concept for puzzle designs, but there's something I find really appealing about them. This one is the Forgotten Arcade. So we've got in the image, this arcade, which looks like something out of the 90s, but it's completely just abandoned, left to ruin. We've got spider webs going on. The glass is cracked. There's something a little bit eerie about it. It looks like one day everyone's just locked the door, gone and completely forgotten that it ever existed. There are still toys in the machines waiting to be won. Tickets have come out of the machine, never collected. Perhaps it's a reminder of a forgotten time when arcades like this were once really popular. Sticking with the retro theme, up next we have got Dungeons and Dragons, the jigsaw puzzle. It is based on the very popular game, which has been going something like 40 years now, I believe. I have never played the game, but this one appealed to me more as a bit of a flashback to my childhood from the cartoon. It was an animation in the 80s. Now, I actually, it had actually finished by the time I was born, but it was still aired a lot when I was a child, and it was one of my favourite cartoons, one of my favourite shows. So this kind of reminds me of that, and it is 1,000 pieces again. It is manufactured by uh, Paladone Products Limited. It seems to be, I've not heard of those before, but it was designed in the UK. The box feels pretty strong and sturdy. It's kind of size wise, smaller than Ravensburger, but not as small as say a Gibson's box. But yeah, one, another one I'm looking forward to, I should say. Okay, next, Ravensburger, back to Ravensburger. We have got their crypt puzzle. Now this was one I have done and it is actually on the channel on a video. So the crypt puzzle, there's a number of variations in different colors. Most of them are solid colors, just one color. I went kind of for the pastel uh, gradient one, which made it a lot easier. But I did just really like the colors, hence why I went for it. This is 631 pieces, so smaller than the others. It's actually the smallest puzzle I have in my collection today. I think they're pretty much all 1000 pieces, the puzzles I've got. I really enjoyed putting this one together. I don't normally keep my puzzles after I have completed them. I normally donate them to charity, but I've kept hold of this one because I did enjoy it and I think I will do it again at some point. It was pretty easy, so you can just do it in one evening. This one is by Otter House. It is Woodland Friends, 1000 pieces. And Otter House is a brand. I've done quite a lot of their puzzles over time. I do enjoy them. So I think again, it's one I might have to do a review on at some point. The puzzle comes with a poster as well, which is nice if you want to, um, you know, see certain bits up close help with your puzzling or if you're puzzling with more than one person I think it's always handy to have a poster that one of you can look at the box and the other person can look at the poster it comes in a nice small sort of compact very strong box I do like their packaging 
the back is nice and simple, completely plain, a bit like the same as, well, the same as Cloudberries. No loads of adverts and all that, which I like that, the simplicity of it. This puzzle was given to us as a gift from a family member, but I do think it is super cute, all the little woodland animals, and there's even a little red squirrel, which is one of my favorite animals. Up next is a very different puzzle. It is one of those puzzles with a twist again. So this is Look Twice, a jigsaw puzzle with hidden images. So it is called Spy the Spies. So as you put the puzzle together, there's meant to be lots of spies hidden within the image. Now this puzzle is by Lagoon Puzzles. I actually bought this puzzle in a charity shop. So it's fairly old. I think I looked, yeah, the copyright shows 2003. So I don't know if this one will still be available. Um, of all the puzzles today, I will try to find links for them if you're interested in getting any of them and put that in the video description as well but back to this one it is 1000 pieces it says it has 1000 similar shape puzzle pieces with repeating images so i'm guessing the puzzle pieces are going to be all the same standard puzzle piece shape and repeating images so yeah this one could could be quite challenging there are 30 spies hiding throughout the puzzle, and there are some sort of look twice challenges. I'm not too sure what exactly they are, but I think this one could make quite a fun, interesting video. So I think we might do this one together. So from spies, we move on to Disney. This is the Jungle Book. It is by Schmidt. It is 1000 pieces, and it is one of the Thomas Kincaid designs which are always trickier than say the Ravensburger Disney puzzles because Ravensburger Disney puzzles are generally all quite bright with distinct lines whereas Kincaid it is artwork it is more challenging and as the Kincaid Disney puzzles go this was quite a fairly challenging one I have done it um, I did record it I'm not sure if I've put it out yet or not so I'll have to look back if I haven't and pull the footage out but it was, it's very, you know, it's very cute. You know, who doesn't like the jungle book or the bare necessities? Okay, well, maybe not everybody, but yeah, Schmidt is always very good quality though. So if I am going to do a more challenging puzzle, Schmidt is definitely a brand I would go to to do a challenging puzzle. Cause you, if you're going to do a challenging puzzle, you want the quality to be good. So you know if a piece is in the right place or not not one of the brands where the pieces fit here there everywhere so yeah okay moving on again let's have a look at this one this is by pomegranate i haven't done a pomegranate puzzle in ages they tend to do a lot of like art designs now the box is very good quality very strong and sturdy a bit smaller than uh, say a ravensburger puzzle box and this one is Dragon of the Yangtze. I don't know, I will put the title on the screen and maybe do a voiceover <laughs> on that um, word. But I do love the artwork. I think it's a beautiful image. And what does it say? Dr um, surrealism, humanism and mythology meld in the dynamic work of the Canadian artist. From what I remember of pomegranate, the quality was very good, so I'm hoping it still is. And yeah, I really, really, really do like this puzzle image, so I am very looking forward to this one. And now we are back to Ravensburger 1000 piece puzzle. This is upstairs, downstairs. This particular Ravensburger puzzle says it includes a leaflet showing the artist's biography and additional puzzle picture for reference. Not all Ravensburger puzzles come with a extra image of the puzzle. The puzzle depicts a very grand house from the past 
and it's a very busy house. It shows the inside of what's going on. We've got the maids and things working down here at the bottom. We've got what looks could well could be the lord and lady of the manor here. And then the bedrooms, bathrooms, and attic rooms. Yeah, I, I really like puzzles like this where you've almost got little sections and you can complete each bit and build it up, each room, and put it together and see what's happening. And as you're doing it, you spot extra details which you don't notice in the picture before you start. And for a puzzle like this, you can kind of lose yourself in it. Your imagination can run away pretending you're there in that manner. Next, we've got this beauty from Schmidt. I do like my fantasy puzzles. And in this one, we've got dragons, a castle on a floating island, and I just love the colours in the sky. I think it's going to be fairly tricky, all that green foliage, but well worth it. So this one, a thousand pieces. The artist is Georgia Fallenberg, and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Okay. Next, let's, let's take a look at this one. This is again one of those puzzles of a bit of a twist. This is Death on the Istanbul Express, a mystery jigsaw puzzle, a thousand pieces again. The puzzle comes with a little booklet that we follow the detective to Istanbul and the shocking death of a fellow passenger. Next, we need to assemble a puzzle and discover the hidden clues inside the corridors and cabins of the Istanbul Express. And finally, yeah, we need to solve the puzzle and find out who the killer was. So yeah, this one, definitely a puzzle for twists. I'm really looking forward to this. A bit different, fun, and yeah, I, I think this one could make a good video. Well, actually, well, one thing I've just noticed is it has Beware. The puzzle is different from the box cover. So I am thinking that it might not, we might not know what we are puzzling is going to be one of those. This puzzle is by Be Puzzled. I've not done one of their puzzles before, so it's also new to me. The puzzle box is quite thin, but I'm not going to judge it on that. Okay. So that one, let's go back to Ravensburger and we have one of the Amy Stewart designs because I do love her kind of bookcase puzzles and this one, this one is the Fantastic Voyage. Yeah, definitely going with the kind of fantasy theme in quite a few of my puzzles today. This is 1000 pieces again. And this puzzle has so much detail. There is so much going on here. From trains to ships to all the bookcase pieces. I really enjoy them because as you piece them together, you discover things that you haven't noticed when you've glanced at the picture. A bit like the one I mentioned earlier. And there's not much sorting involved. Because, I mean, it's, it'd be pretty hard to sort because there's just so much going on. So I kind of just pull out the edge pieces. You could sort sort of the pieces with the um, the shelves, pull out all the shelves. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's nice just to have a big pile of puzzle pieces and pull the pieces out and see where they fit. Okay, let's stick with Ravensburger. Jurassic Park. So Jurassic Park actually is one of my favorite films. I was only a little kid when it came out and I went to see it at the cinema and it really scared me. I actually had nightmares afterwards but as I've got older I don't know I've always kind of remembered it and yeah maybe it sounds a bit strange that I really like it so as it scared me but anyway I do and this move, um, puzzle design is based on the original 1993 movie and in the puzzle design, we've got various scenes out of the original classic movie there, all kind of collaged together. So yeah, I am going to enjoy that. And there he is, actually. There is the bad boy, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, on to something maybe a little bit more like cheerful. 
So this one, Falcon, nice. And this is like so bright, so colourful, nice and colourful. 1,000 pieces. It's from the Falcon Contemporary range. And this puzzle is called The Wild by Anne Wilson. And I just really love it because it's just so bright and cheerful and so many beautiful animals in the design there. Very busy design. But I'm not anticipating this one to be too difficult at all. But I am looking forward to piecing together those elephants, rhinos, monkeys, all sorts of animals. Oh, there's an alligator or crocodile, is it? I think a crocodile. It's a very beautiful, fun, bright design. I definitely like that. Okay, final two. So, the first one. This design by Comfy, Comfy, I'm not too sure how they pronounce it. So they sent me this one for free when they sent me the uh, Lego design, which I made a video on a while ago. I haven't got around to doing this other one of theirs just yet. I think it's definitely going to be a quite a challenging one again, maybe because I've just been a bit short on time or I haven't done it. This is called The Magnificent Universe. And the last one was very nice quality, so I'm assuming this one will be the same. With their puzzles, they are all standard puzzle piece shapes, which makes a puzzle a little trickier again when they are, but they the pieces did interlock very nicely. I didn't put any when I was doing the Lego puzzle in the wrong place, and it comes with a nice little poster print of the puzzle as well. Nice strong box, nice and compact, easy to store. And finally, but not least, we have got this little beauty from Otter House again. This is Fish and Chips, and it depicts a lovely seaside little harbour town with lots of cute little pastel houses there. They have fishing boats in the harbour and a little doggy down here. As it is currently autumn, well actually early winter now, I'm tempted to maybe save this one until springtime to do when I can kind of get in the mood for it, when I'm thinking about summer coming. So I might have to put this one off for a bit but I'm definitely looking forward to doing it when I get there. And that is the final puzzle for today's puzzle haul. I think I have plenty of puzzles to keep me going for the moment for a little while anyway so i'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching please do come back to my channel and you'll see many of these puzzles in the future on it if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up a like the video subscribe if you've not already and i hope to see you again soon until then take care and bye for now